Consider an inclined plane where theta is the angle of inclination. Let a body of mass m be placed on the inclined plane like this, let m be its mass. The different forces acting on the body are, first one is the mg which means the weight of the body acting vertically downward. So this mg can be resolved into two components, one along, along the plane like this and one perpendicular to the, at the above, above vector. So if this is theta, this angle will be theta. So if this is mg, this will be mg cos theta and this, this will be mg, mg sin theta. So this weight can be resolved into two components, two perpendicular components. Also, there is a reaction in the direction vertically upward. Let's call that as R. Since the body is moving upward or we are pushing the body in the upward direction, we are applying a force in this direction. P. Let's call that P. So definitely the friction always opposes the motion. So there is a friction in this direction. Let's call that as Fk, kinetic friction, since the body is moving. So these all are the different forces acting on the mass. So consider, consider consider the motion along the plane along the plane we have if consider the motion along the plane for the equilibrium of this mass or the net force acting on the taking the equilibrium position of this mass we have the net downward forces equal to net upward forces so what total are the downward forces acting we can write f downward is equal to F upward for the body or the mass to be in equilibrium. So the downward forces are mg psi theta plus there is a friction Fk and the upward force is only P. So let's call that as equation number one. Also consider the vertical equilibrium or consider the vertical equilibrium equilibrium we have the net upward force that is R is equal to net downward force there is only a one downward force mg cos theta clear let's call that as equation number two but we have the frictional force Fk is equal to mu k times the normal reaction implies the frictional force Fk is equal to mu k into reaction is reaction is mg cos theta mg cos theta call that as equation number three therefore the P becomes substituting it in here substituting in here therefore we have for substituting this 3 in the equation number 1 you get P is equal to mg sin theta mg sin theta plus Fk is mu k mu k mg cos theta so that's the force we can write P as taking this mg outside mg times sin theta plus mu k cos theta so that's all let's call that as equation number four so the work done will always be the force times the displacement let's we move this mass to some distance say s let this distance be s mark it here 
that the distance traveled along the plane is s with this force p therefore work therefore work work done w is equal to p into s where p is the force and s force times displacement is the work so w is equal to mg into sin theta plus mu k cos theta times s so that's the expression for work done to move a body along the inclined plane